my dear students today we are going to study about the enzymes enzymes are globular proteins they catalyze many thousands of metabolic reactions which are taking place in the cells of the organism so the enzymes are globular protein they always carry out many metabolic reactions inside the cell there are two types of enzymes one is uh, extracellular enzyme and the second one is intracellular enzymes extracellular enzymes they are secreted inside the cell and exported externally outside of the cell and work outside of the cells they are called extracellular enzymes for example digestive enzymes what are extracellular enzymes when the enzymes are secreted inside the cell and exported externally that is outside of the cell and work outside of the cells they are called extracellular enzymes all the digestive enzymes are the example of extracellular enzymes the second type is intracellular enzyme when the enzymes are secreted inside the cells and work inside the cells they are called intracellular enzymes they are found inside the organelles or within the cells say for example a insulin insulin is an intracellular enzyme secreted by the pancreatic glands we are going to see now the properties of the enzymes there are some properties given in the book one by one we will see all the enzymes are globular proteins already we have seen that they act as the catalyst they are effective even in very small quantities they remain unchanged at the end of the chemical reactions they are highly specific they have an active site where the reactions takes place they lower the activation energy of the reaction they catalyze when the molecules react they become unstable high energy intermediates this higher high energy intermediate this state is called a transition state energy is required to raise molecules to this transition state this minimum needed energy is called activation energy the activation energy can be explained schematically by boulder on hill side mode that is given in the figure 8.29 so these are all considered as the properties of the enzymes first one all the enzymes are globular proteins second one they act as a catalyst third one they are effective even in small quantities fourth one they remain unchanged at the end of the chemical reaction fifth one they are highly specific sixth one they have an active site where the reactions takes place seventh one they lower the activation energy of the reaction what is activation energy when molecules react they become unstable high energy intermediates the state is called a transition state the energy is required to raise molecules to this transition state that energy is called activation energy this minimum energy is called activation energy activation energy is required for 
any chemical reaction. Activation energy can be explained schematically, that is given in the figure 8.29. Now we are going to see the lock and key mechanism of enzyme. Substrate is the starting substance in any catalyzed chemical reaction. During chemical reaction, the substrate is converted into product. This chemical process is taking place when the substrate binds the active site of the enzyme. So there is an active site in the enzyme. In all the enzymes, there is an active site where only the reaction takes place. And in the active site only, the chemical reaction takes place. When the substrate accommodates the active site, then only the chemical reaction will be started. So for any chemical reaction, substrate how to combine with the active site. The active site is the specially formed pocket in the enzyme. In the enzyme itself, the active site is there. Active site is a part and parcel of the enzyme. The, in the active site, only chemical reaction takes place once the substrate combined with the active site. And this is the lock and key mechanism of enzyme action. When the substrate combined with the active site of the enzyme, it uh, forms ES complex. ES complex means enzyme substrate complex. The substrate is raised in energy, that is the activation energy, to a transition state and then breaks down into the product plus unchanged enzyme. That is also illustrated in the figure 8.30 in some of the book and 8.18 in some other book that shows the enzyme mechanism that is the lock and key mechanism of enzyme. That's all.